everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews. Today I have a sort of holiday themed thing for you and that is going over how to make this bow bra here. Now if you are familiar with my tutorials I want to preface this by saying that this probably won't be as prescriptive as I normally am. Um, I just filmed it while I was making this. I'm sort of making things up as I went along. Um, so you're sort of coming along with me on the ride of the process and figuring it out and making it and putting it together. Uh, if you need really in-depth instruction on uh, construction, probably not the best tutorial for you to follow, but I do have loads available and I will try to pop a couple up in the uh, description box up here. But, um, yeah, if you were interested in doing this and you're a sort of advanced sewer or advanced bra maker and you, you have a lot of the techniques under your belt, I think this was a really fun thing to try. And I thought it was really enjoyable to just sort of take a picture from uh, inspiration and see where it leads me. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. Okay, so here we have the Ginger Bra by Adore Me. And this is the bra that I'm going to try to replicate and make it my own. Uh, I see this a lot during Christmas time and I just think it would be something fun to try to do even though it doesn't look like it has much practical use. So if I look at the pictures, um, I can tell here that this is a partial band bra and that just means that this back band piece doesn't extend all along the cup bottom. Um, so that the wire sort of is free floating. I have a couple partial band patterns, but none that I think make a good basis for this cup. So I think I'm going to start with the Black Beauty bra um, and then convert it into a partial band just because that's the pattern that seems to fit me the best right now. Uh, if I pull back from this, it looks like there's no cup pieces really at all in here. Um, underneath that bow that looks like the the breast tissue is just free floating now that is fine for a bedroom bra but it doesn't I don't think it's very practical for anybody that has any larger of a bust than say myself so I think what I'm going to do is make a full cup that goes in here but I'm going to use a sheer fabric so I'm going to make the standard like black beauty bra cup in a sheer fabric that's going to be sort of unnoticeable when you have it on. And then I'm going to do a separate piece that sort of like comes around and cups the, the bust using my satin. And then lastly, I'm going to do just a large piece of rectangle that comes across the front and you can actually tie it in a bow for that pretty effect. So I'm thinking it should look very similar to this, but it should have more stability in it because I'm going to be using a sheer cup lining uh, that's nude and can support the bust all on its own. And then all of the satin is just going to be like a pretty addition on top of it. So I think that is the best strategy for getting started on this. So let's switch over to my sewing board and start modifying the pattern. Okay, so to start out with, I'm just going to need my bridge, my outer frame, and possibly my back band piece. I'm going to use my cut pieces later, but these are the three I want to start out with. So if I look at where my bridge and my outer cradle line up, um, we can see that like where that seam line is sort of the lowest point of the cup. So right now I just need the bridge. I'm going to trace this out without the seam allowances. So on this pattern, it's really easy to tell where the seam allowances are because they're already marked in there, which is one of the reasons why I love this pattern. It makes it so easy to work with. Um, when we're making alterations, you always want to make it to the piece itself without any seam allowances included, um, just as a general rule of thumb. And then you add back the seam allowances later. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because I'm not going to use it. So, it's a little hard to see, so I'm just pop some paper underneath there. So we have that bridge piece, and I know, since we know where this ends is the lowest portion of the cup, that means we don't want our partial bridge to be any lower than that. So, if I look at 
This is the Fenway bra by Orange Lingerie, and it is a partial band bra. Um, so my bridge piece here ends probably like a half an inch from that lowest portion. So that looks good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to switch it over to a different ruler. And I'm going to line up to make sure that I'm going parallel with that upper top upper part of the bridge um, and I don't want it going any lower than where the ends are so we said like a half of an inch might be like a half of an inch up mm, let's do a quarter of an inch up that looks a little bit better okay, okay. So we don't need any of this stuff down here. Just this sort of little piece is gonna be our bridge. Um, and because I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use a plunge wire with this one. My plunge wire is one inch shorter in the front. So I'm just gonna measure down an inch here and get rid of that as well. So I don't need any of this either. I'm just working with that little teeny tiny triangle. So now what I'm going to do is trace that over again and then I'm going to add my seam allowances back in. We're looking for a quarter of an inch seam allowances on this. Copy my piece first. So here we have what that bridge piece is going to look like. Now you could measure in a quarter of an inch all the way around here, but since I didn't change any of these contours, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit um, and put that original cut piece back in underneath and see where it matches up. And then I can sort of copy out my my quarter of an inch seam allowance there. Obviously the, the top and bottom are just gonna be straight lines so I can just measure those. And I think, let's see, I kinda just wanna, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this in like a sharp, sharp triangle like that. All of that, all of that stuff is gonna be cut off in the end anyway because it's gonna be in the seam allowances, but that looks, so now, now I have my bridge piece. That's going to be what's used instead of this one. So next we need to look at the back band and the frame. Um, let's see, I don't have my seam allowances on here. These are ones that I've altered quite a bit. So sometimes when I alter, I forget to put my seam allowances back in. I can just draw them really quickly. So know that they are a quarter of an inch and these are straight. Okay. So now I'm going to overlap these. We want to make sure the lines are on top of each other as if it is sewn together. That way we are not looking at any extra seam allowances in there. Um, and this I want this is gonna be actually called a wing now um it's no longer going to be called a cradle actually first things we should do is copy it over without its seam allowance so let's do that to draw it in by hand which is a little bit tedious So that's how I normally do it. I just measure 
you know, a quarter of an inch all along the curve and then I sort of play connect the dots. So for this one, I want the band, I want the band to start there, like right when it's, it's done curving and it's starting to like move, go back up at a pretty fast pace. So, I mean, you could probably do it anywhere. I don't know that it really matters. And I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to do a straight line here so it ends up right exactly where the side of um, my piece would be anyway. That way I don't have to modify my back band. Uh, but if you were going to do it so that, let's say, so you had your piece in here and um, okay, so you had your piece in here and you decided that you wanted this to come off a little bit higher, you would want to continue that all the way across your back band like that. Because I'm going to stay at my same side length, I don't think I have to worry, I don't have to change my back piece at all because it should be the same distance um, once I put my seam allowances back in. So here's what the piece looks like without all of its seam allowances. I said this is where I wanted to start the curve and I'm going to connect it to that little teeny tiny corner there. So this is going to be my wing piece. I no longer need these. So I'm going to copy over my wing piece and then add seam allowances. And now we just need to add our seam allowances back on. Uh, so for this one, looks like our upper seam allowance is three eighths of an inch. Uh, and that's gonna be because the band elastic we use up here is gonna be three eighths. The side seam is going to be a quarter of an inch seam allowance. A uh, quarter of an inch for the cuffs as well. I'm going to do the same cheat that I did on the bridge. <laughs> Line this back in. And then for the bottom of here, the elastic that I want to use is three quarters of an inch. So that's going to be the seam allowance that I need to put on there. Um, my back band piece has already got three quarters of an inch on it. And I just like to mark. So when I've like put a specific amount, like so the top here was for three eighths elastic and the bottom is for three quarters of an inch elastic, I always put mark that in there just so that I know um, if I ever come back to use this alteration pattern later. So this is quite wide. It's fine. Um, I don't need all of that because when I sew the bra up, that elastic is turned to the inside and all of that excess is going to be cut off. So there's going to be my wing, got my wing and my bridge. And those are the two altered pattern pieces that I need to turn this into a partial band bra. So 
the last step of turning it into a partial band bra is you also need to alter your cup pieces. So I'm going to get my cup pieces. I have Black Beauty just has two pieces. So I have the lower and there's my upper cup. So what I need to do is copy this over. And I need to leave out the seam allowances that are going to be touching the wire. So along the bottom part here, and then just this little side up here and the little side over here. So right now this should be a quarter of an inch. I'm leaving the seam allowance on the top there because I'm not gonna really be touching it at all. I'm just worried about my wire line seam allowance right now. I'm going to take a look at my underwire channeling that I'll be using for this. <clears throat> so here's my underwire channeling. And if I measure that, it is three eighths of an inch. So when you're making a regular bra, this seam allowance gets pushed into the band area of it. Uh, and you attach the underwire channeling on top to cover up your seam allowances. But with a partial band bra, you don't have any fabric underneath here because we got rid of it. So what you actually end up doing is the band or the channeling actually gets sewed to the inside of the cup. So we want to make sure that we still have the same amount of cup available for our, our breast tissue. So what we need to do is this was three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to double that. We're going to get six eighths of an inch, and then I'm going to put in six eighths of an inch seam allowances all along the wire line of this piece. I'm just putting this piece under here so you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> so what I want to do is just go six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Measure that all the way around. So there I've got my, my seam allowances extended out. Just connect all my dots. So there's gonna be that lower cut piece. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna we're going to sew the channeling on and then we're going to fold the channeling up to the inside like that and then sew the channeling in. So all of this material is, again, all seam allowance. So the edge of your cup piece is still the same as it was when it was for a regular bra. Now I'm just going to repeat that on the upper piece as well. Of course, the only seam allowances we need to alter on this one are going to be the two side ones here. So everything else I'll copy over the same. Now if I had not used a plunge, so say I'd used this regular cut piece, not the plunge one, um, this probably would have worked a little bit better because this one wouldn't have extended out into that point at three eighths of an inch. So those are my two cut pieces with the alterations made for, for doing a partial band bra. Okay, so for the sling, I think I have two options. The first is the Black Beauty bra comes with this power bar already included. So I think all I need to do is just extend this up further to include the strap like it has in the inspiration photo that goes with it. And it'll all be cut in one piece. Now if you don't have this pattern, the other thing we can do to make our own, we 
can take the two upper cup pieces. So these are the ones that I had just shown you how to draft and I just copied them over into more substantial paper. So if you wanted to draft your own, all you need to do is overlay where those cup pieces are gonna attach together. So you want the line on top of the line and it's okay that they sort of like drift apart. And then you would just sort of like decide where you want it to end. So I think on the inspiration photo, it comes across pretty far in front of the bus. So I almost want it to end there-ish. So I'm gonna copy these two pieces over. And because I'm doing an undercut in sheer lining, it doesn't have to extend all the way up on the wire. It doesn't matter really where it, it ends because this is really more of a decorative piece than anything else. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wire line, yep, and then do these. And then you just kind of need to freehand the shape that's going to, you want the sling to have. Keeping in mind that, that where the seam allowance is, so the shape will be like, you want it to end there. Yeah, it looks like a good shape. Make sure that I draw my seam allowances in, that I don't forget about them. And just like I was going to do if I just used this piece, is extend it out further. I'm going to do one nice gentle scoop, so I'm just going to that. I think I want this to be like 10 inches long. So here we have the strap piece. Uh, so I already have my seam allowances over here, but I need, still need to add my seam allowances on this inside curve. Okay, so here we have all of the pieces cut out. Um, so I've cut my two cut pieces out of this sheer nude uh, trico. This is the Teen Junior Trico. And you can see like once I put it on my skin, it, it'll be almost invisible. So the idea is that it'll still have all the same support of, as a, a bra that has actual cups in it, but it will look like there's nothing there. Um, so do those, those are the bottom cups. And then the top cups here, I've actually cut on a fold. Um, you just cut the piece on a fold so that that way I don't have to finish the upper edge of that cup and it'll look a lot more sheer. Um, the two wings that we created, I cut one out of uh, satin, like a mirror satin, and the other one out of the sheer cup lining just because that gives it rigidity. Um, this satin that I'm using, this mirror satin, is has a little bit of stretch in one direction and about 75% stretch in the other direction. So I got this from Spandex World. I'm going to be using a silver just because I think it's a little bit more non-denominational. Um, 
I'm just not a particular fan of red. So I'm going to go with silver. So I used about, I think I purchased a yard of mirror satin and I have quite a bit left over. Um, but I would still recommend purchasing a yard just because then you'll definitely have enough room for underwear and things like that to make out of it. So we got a sheer cup lining um, out of the cups and then the wings and bridge I also cut sheer cup lining for um, just because I want the whole front of the bra to be pretty stable and then I, I cut out satin just for the outsides of those as well uh, and then I got the back band so the back band I am lining in a power net so this is about 50% stretch it's the same sort of material I normally use for my bands um, and because the satin has more stretch than the net that I can go ahead and put that on the front so it'll be like a silver all the way around um, for these like sling pieces that we designed I cut four of them out so there's gonna be two on each side of course you want to like mirror everything so when you cutting it out you know you cut your cut your pattern piece facing up and then flip it over and cut the other one with the pattern piece facing down that way you have your images for both sides of your body so I got four of those cut out of the satin and then the last thing is going to be what makes the bow and I went ahead and I cut two rectangles and I did them the full um like width the 36 inches of my fabric so I have 36 by eight and a half and I have two of those rectangles and those are gonna turn into the bow that sort of like comes across and then it's gonna like tie up in the center Hey everyone, that concludes today's installment of the Bow Bra Sew With Me. Uh, come back tomorrow and we're actually going to start sewing things together. Take care. Mm -hmm.